singles competition coming your way as the plus size terminator old school Rick RDA makes his way to the ring. Folks, they don't think that they need it. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for with a 25 minute time limit. Introducing first in the corner to my right, weighing in at 300 pounds. From the 605 Studios, he is the Midwest Enforcer, the Plus Size Terminator. He is And his opponent in the corner to my left, weighing in at 203 pounds, hailing from Salt Lake City, Utah, representing Big Ugly Baba and O3 Fitness, the Bronx Open, Anthony Tartar! And the crowd is absolutely thunderous tonight. Firmly behind Anthony Tarantelli. <laughs> Cartier out of the ring right now. Definitely asking him to step inside before the bell is rung to make this one official. And he does. And here we go. Big fight feel for this one, Tommy. Yeah, absolutely. Two people that we recently saw go down to our reigning Super Showdown Wrestling Champion, Jacob Braun. We saw Rick Cartier fail last week to overtake who is the most dominant wrestler we have on our roster. And Tornatelli losing in the finals of our tournament to crown the inaugural. Super Showdown Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Absolutely. Of course, last month, Anthony Tortelli going against Alexander Kirk. And what I can only describe as an instant classic, one of the best matches I've ever seen. And, uh, and I'm thinking tonight, these two have something to prove. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to get back on the better footing. Tortelli may have had match of the night 
at last episode of Super Showdown Wrestling, but it still ended in a draw. That's still not a win. She's got to get back in line and back in back on track to try to build back up to facing Jacob Braun again. And this could be the first stepping stone. After seeing what Ricardo was able to put as a fight towards Braun, we know he's a competitor. We call him one of the gatekeepers of Super Showdown Wrestling for a reason. So even though he came up short, you know he was trying to build back up and knowing the opportunities that Torricelli had, this has so many levels to it. It's unbelievable. So whoever comes out with the victory could end up with a lot of momentum moving forward. As I mentioned on, uh, on the walkout, two extremely technical wrestlers here, and they're showing it early on. Neither one able to bust the other in chain wrestling. And look at this, Cartier going for a forearm. Oh, a Cartier special right there. Yeah, that's a chop a pitcher would be proud of. Wow, catches the leg. So it's only trying to pull a pass, and then McCartney went straight into it. Ducks it. Another forearm. And look at this, forearms into the court, or into the ropes there. Reversing the Irish whip. And look at this, he catches him on the shoulder. Chops him to the ground. I think like there was a lot of uh, overthinking between the two at that point. Trying to get some reversal, trying to get the air and advantage. My goodness, oh, that is steam. No lack of conviction behind that forearm. Looks like he's gonna give him the 10 foul before he finally backs off. Trying to, get, oh, trying to get the Irish whip into the opposite corner. McCartney too heavy. That great advantage that he has, about 100 pounds different between the two. Oh my goodness. But the pure striking ability of Toritelli could be the difference maker for him here, which is what exactly what we're seeing right now with the drive by drop kick on the ring apron. And Cartier looks confused and wobbled. Yet very wisely sliding outside of the ring, or perhaps we thought it was wise. Toritelli! See ya! See ya! See Cartier down and out at the moment. Tomatelli standing strong. Oh my goodness. This action is staying outside there on a count of only four. Plenty of time for these two. Ring down out here. Super Showdown Wrestling going to the full 20 count, not just 10. Look this European uppercut. What a chop hitting that right in front of our table. Goodness. My goodness. Tomatelli's head bounced off of the side of the ring. Hey! 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 A back body drop onto the ring apron. Hardest part of the ring there. In for the cover goes Cartier. Kick out after two. Yep, kicked out after two. Tomatelli's still got a lot of strength left. But the tide turning. In Cartier's favor, the plus size terminator. This crowd trying to get Anthony Totelli back into it. No such luck. And look at this. Just so pulling on the hair. Referee having to break it up. Man, Rick Cartier, he's a mean, vicious man. So I'd never invite him over for Christmas. That is fair. That and he saw the turkey. Oh! Jumping down on the spine and now, wrenching at the jaw in pure dominating fashion. Cartier right now in control of Anthony Tomatelli. Stumbling back up to his feet, but somehow finds a right hand to connect. Oh, and an eye leg from Cartier. Stops any momentum Tomatelli is gonna have. And another chop straight across the chest. If there's anything Totel is going to remember from this night, it's those chops landing across his chest because he's going to be, going to be fooling him for about a week. Yeah. All he has to do is look at the mirror and see Rick Cartier's handprints. Yeah. Cartier getting it back up. Dark the forearm. 
on a drop kick. Good Very high. The Huge vertical. Extension and the kickoff. Woo! And my goodness, going in the corner now. Forearms and European uppercuts incoming. Trying to break down the big man. Gets him down to sit down in the corner. Now sizing him up. Corner. And he was able to stop himself just in time to try to grab his balance, but still fell back nonetheless. Yeah, a little bit too much momentum there. High risk, high reward. And now Cartier scooping him up. Nope, Joe and Telly turning it around. Looking for perhaps a German. And oh my god, is this sleeper. Trying to bring the big man down, cut off the oxygen. Ooh. And look at this, wrenches it in again. Cardiac, oh, oh, trying to pick it up. Rick Cardiac looking to open up a candy shop here at the West Branch Outlets. All of the children in the audience are not jealous of that job right here. And now backing it up in the corner. Tortelli is in real trouble here. One, two, just barely. Being able to kick out of that one, it looked like he was, doesn't have much fight left on him at the moment. Trying to gain that second win right now. But he looks, he's almost looking directly at us. And man, he looks dazed. Absolutely. But if you look at his competitor, it looked like a look of frustration on the face of Rick Cardio, who's called for a finish here. Wow. A fisherman's on a spine buster there. So it's out of there, right back up to his feet, just screaming at Cartier. Oh, got that knee straight up the center. And both competitors buckled down to the mat. If Anthony Tolton had enough energy to pin Rick Cartier right now, this could be it. I don't even know where he got the energy to get that knee up. Absolutely. Out of four, folks, both competitors settling the win. Toatelli making his way up to his knees. Rick Cartier just starting to stir, but stirring up fast. Forearm after forearm exchange between the two. We're trying to gain the advantage. And folks, I talked earlier about how they're technical. This is not technical. This is just two men seeing which one is going to stand at the end of a beatdown. Basically, a test of strength and stamina at this point, as it's just a brawl. Ducks it. Oh! oh. One, two, no! And it's if I was a gambler, man, I would have just lost the house. Yeah, I was, I was 100 percent sure that was it. The heart of Anthony Tolentelli cannot be overexpressed, folks. The pure impact on that lariat, goodness gracious me! And when this Cartier call for schools out. Try to lift Anthony Tolentelli. No, Tortelli trying to get around him. Oh! Just a straight right hand. Shoves him into the corner. A flying turn. And look at this. Cartier is trying to fight himself out of that corner, but every time he does, Tortelli's there. Tortelli might be trying to bite off more than he can chew by trying to lift up Cartier for that yeah. suplex. Cartier delivering elbows. Oh! Back body drop. In for the cover, this is So I'll tell you, once again, getting that left shoulder up. You have that short back body drop. This one trying to hold for a bit more of an impact on that one, but that might have been all the strength 38 can muster at the moment. Both men once again trying to work their way to their feet. Here comes Cody. Double boots from Tolatelli and now Explorer Suplex right to the Tarnacle! And Cartier is in serious trouble. Tolatelli's bringing to the rear. In the one, two, no. Still not enough. 
The amount of exhaustion that both of these warriors have put forth after this point is unbelievable. How both of them are so going, I don't know. Tommy, I'm exhausted watching them. Yeah, no joke. They're trying to steal the spotlight of the tag team tournament going on right now. But here we go, Tortelli. Looking for a strong right there. No. Catch him. Half Nelson slash him over. Two. Now. I think this might come down to whoever can string together a couple of maneuvers. Because it looks like each one tries to get one out. Goes for the goal, thinking that might be it, but it's not quite enough. Let me tell you, Anthony Tortelli needs to start getting desperate because he cannot go to another draw. He needs to be a finisher. He needs to win, right? Barnier now, look at this. Oh, he's got a chain. Now come on. He's got a chain. Referee on the seat. Oh, Making his way. Oh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is Rick Cordray by the Swamification! When you're still telling me, I will super think the third of Kelly. Shades of Eddie Guerrero to finish that match. A little as Kirk and Tara Telly in the center of the ring. Kirk giving him a hug. I don't win this on the banks of Tara Telly. I don't know. I don't think the feelings are reciprocated. Maybe not so much, but he may appreciate at least the help. Cartier came in with that chain, expecting to do some damage. Burke was just trying to help after the respect that those two have now gained for each other after that time limit draw. So I'll tell you, I think he's saying that he understands. So he's like, hang on. And a handshake blow up by another hug by Kirk. But this will go in the record books as a win by Rick Cartier via disqualification. However, we know here now that we will see that that fight could have gone either way at any moment. And it was Rick Cartier trying to go above and beyond by grabbing that steel chair from underneath the stairs. Now, Tommy, another way of looking at it is that Rick Cartier saw no choice but to grab that chain to put him He saw no other way to put Tony Tully away, absolutely. That might have been his only out to theoretically get the victory. So we'll see after how this ends up playing out as Tortelli and Kurt now assuming this friendship together. You could say frenemy to a certain extent. And Rick Cartier now has to pick up the pieces of the result of this as he is now left on the ground outside the ring as Tortelli walks away. I'm here with Anthony Tortelli after his match. Are you feeling all right? Uh, I mean, I am. I was a little sore, but... Yeah, I'm good. Good. So, how would it feel out there? Uh, it's disappointing for, uh, you know, for me because someone decided to come out, which. Yeah, why did you even go out there? You had the chain. I had to stop him. From... Yeah, and you hit Rick with the chain. I didn't hit Rick with the chain. I just took it away from him. It doesn't, him. I mean, it looked like you hit him with the chain. You did hit him with the chain. Every, everyone's seen it. Okay, okay, look, look, regardless of what happened. I appreciate you stopping you from doing that chain. So thank you. All right. See you. See you. And then I and thank you. It was the cool. No. Personally, I think you shouldn't have been going out there. He's super. He saved my life. He, he would have, you know, if you went out there, then he wouldn't have to save your life. You saved your life. That's I saved your life. You saved no, mine. No. So let's no. just call it false swear. No. I just want to hear what he has to say, really. What? Yeah. We're, uh -huh. Listen, we're square. Right, like, I'd say your life. I wouldn't say you say my life, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's Thank you. Thank you. Hey, is that what you want? No. No. Yeah. Oh. Uh. All right. I'm here with Rick Hardy after his match against the Totelli. How did it feel? 
well, it's been a war. But the real issue is Alexander Kirk. Did you see what happened out there? I did see that. They hit me in the head of the chain. I'll take that DQ win. But I think the officials here at Super Shogun need to do something about all this.